Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In this video, we're going to be discussing how Voldemort was able to get his body back after its destruction. As we move through the course of the films and books, we see Voldemort's physical form transition from something requiring a host, as we've seen with his possession of Quirrell in the first film, to some semblance of an independent physical form in the fourth. He basically goes from ghost-like wisp to creepy baby that Wormtail has to carry around. And while his body was weak, it was a body nonetheless, even capable of wielding a wand and casting a few spells. So how did he get it back? The answer to this question is actually a lot simpler than you may have thought, as Voldemort's new physical form can be attributed to the use of the rudimentary body potion, a potion that was actually invented by Voldemort himself. The rudimentary body potion was created from two ingredients, unicorn's blood and the guinea's venom. Wormtail was able to source both ingredients and produce this potion for the Dark Lord under his instruction. The potion, though effective at providing Voldemort with a physical form, was not powerful enough to restore him to his former glory, which meant that he did not have the level of power that he was previously accustomed to. So while the body was not much, it was still a body and he knew that it would serve him well until he was able to garner the ingredients for a true return. The true return of Voldemort occurred when he was given the Regeneration Potion, a potion that helps to restore non-corporeal wizards to their bodies. It is an old piece of dark magic that required three things, bone of father, flesh of servant, and blood of foe. To create this potion, Wormtail and Barty Crouch Jr helped Voldemort source these ingredients. They were able to use Wormtail's flesh, Voldemort's father's bone, and Harry's blood. All of the ingredients were then placed inside of a cauldron, and Voldemort's rudimentary form was placed inside. What's interesting is that the use of Harry's blood in this potion ended up being one of the contributing factors towards his downfall. The original potion involved with returning Voldemort to his rudimentary form is actually discussed by Voldemort himself on chapter 33, page 569 of the Goblet of Fire. Voldemort smiled his terrible smile, his red eyes blank and pitiless. Wormtail's body, of course, was ill-adapted for possession as all assumed him dead and would attract far too much attention if seen. However, he was the able-bodied servant I needed and, poor wizard though he is, Wormtail was able to follow the instructions I gave him which would return me to a rudimentary, weak body of my own, a body I would be able to inhabit while awaiting the essential ingredients for true rebirth. A spell or two of my own invention, a little help from my dear Nagini. Voldemort's red eyes fell upon the continually circling snake, a potion concocted from unicorn blood and the snake venom Nagini provided. I was soon returned to an almost human form and strong enough to travel. And that concludes the video. It's a short but sweet answer to this question, and uh, if you guys have any further questions on this topic, please comment them down below. Until next time, you're a wizard, Harry!